Before we get into this video, please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. Also feel free to add a comment below. Okay? Let's go! Myth number 1. The COVID vaccine was rushed and isn't safe. Rushed implies that researchers weren't following their usual rigorous standards and that corners are cut, but that isn't the case. Rapid development and testing of vaccines isn't common practice, but that doesn't mean to say it isn't safe. Vaccine development is usually beset with the bureaucracy of process, funding issues, and waiting for panel dates. Due to the emergency situation, COVID vaccines haven't been faced with these usual delays. The COVID-19 vaccine has had to meet all the expected robust clinical milestones with no safety shortcuts. No regulatory steps were omitted in the reported vaccine development. The independent medicines regulator, MHRA, have strict quality, safety, and effectiveness metrics that all medications, including vaccines, must pass prior to being administered. All the vaccines are licensed and have passed their stringent processes. Obviously, we do not have any long-term data, but currently these vaccines have been licensed as safe, effective, and the best option to prevent infection and death. Myth number 2. The vaccine affects your DNA. The types of vaccine that are licensed for use against COVID-19 do not interact with or alter your human genetic code DNA. Messenger RNA mRNA, is a small molecule that is made naturally by your cells, bacteria and viruses, and provides a blueprint for protein manufacture. The Pfizer Biotech and Moderna vaccines are based on mRNA which act as chemical negotiators within the body to provide it with a plan on how to develop an immune response against COVID-19. mRNA never enters the nucleus of the cell, which is where our DNA is kept and therefore doesn't interact with our DNA in any way. To genetically modify your DNA, you would need to insert a foreign DNA into the nucleus of a human cell and vaccines don't have the capacity to do that. Myth number 3, the vaccine can cause issues with fertility. Misinformation is appearing online, claiming that the antibodies produced by the spike proteins, which enable the virus to bind with host cells of COVID-19 will bind to placental proteins preventing pregnancy. This would be scientifically implausible, but is yet another myth increasing anxiety and worry. Antibodies to the spike protein have not been linked to infertility after COVID-19 infection. If following a natural COVID-19 infection the spike proteins did cause infertility or miscarriage, we would see trends in infertility, miscarriage, and stillbirth this has not been the case. There is no evidence to suggest the vaccine affects fertility which is thought to be secondary to the fact that the vaccine does not contain the live virus. Therefore, the current evidence suggests that it is thought not to increase the risk of infertility, miscarriage, stillbirth, or congenital abnormalities, this was confirmed in a statement by the World Health Organization. For those breastfeeding mums there is no evidence to suggest the vaccine puts your baby at risk through breastfeeding. The vaccine trials, as with most medication and vaccine trials, did not contain any children or pregnancy cohorts so the data available is post-trial data. Myth number 4. If I've had my COVID-19 vaccine, I don't need to socially distance or wear a face mask. Even when you've had your vaccine it's vitally important that we still adhere to the current guidelines. Therefore, the hands, space, face advice is still relevant. The current licensed vaccines all have achieved a good level of efficacy at preventing severe illness which is what the trial protocol's end goal was. It is not yet clear on their impact of transferability and immunity and further research will be able to evaluate this question. Remember, it's still important to have the vaccine to prevent severe illness from COVID-19. The existing rules also apply if you have any medical appointments. Please do ensure that you observe the hands, face, space advice and contact your medical facility for information on their latest process for seeing patients. Myth number 5. I don't need the vaccine if I've already had COVID-19. It is not yet apparent what the natural immunity response level reached is, or for how long after infection someone has protection against COVID-19. The current evidence appears to suggest that contracting COVID-19 again is not common, but as this is a new developing phenomenon, there's still lots of research to be done. It is still recommended, irrespective of your previous immunity response, to have the vaccine when offered. 
Those who are awaiting a COVID-19 test result, or have just been diagnosed with COVID-19, or still in isolation should delay their vaccination. The vaccination centers will be able to advise on the current recommended timescales. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and get vaccinated.